We're standing amongst the ruins of ancient Smyrna, which as you can see is tucked right into the middle of the thriving Turkish city of Izmir. But Smyrna in its day was a thriving city as well. In fact, Smyrna was known as one of the finest seaports in the world. Uh, if you were to take a straight line west from Smyrna, it was the closest seaport to Europe. In fact, you'd end up right in Athens, the gateway to the rest of Europe. So Smyrna was an important city in its day. Smyrna was known for its beauty and its architecture and its gorgeous flowers in this almost tropical climate. But Smyrna was known for something else. Uh, its citizens took pride in its history. In 600 BC, the Lydian King Attalus conquered Smyrna and actually devastated it, left it as a humble, tiny village. And then when Alexander the Great came through here, in a dream he had a vision to rebuild Smyrna and rebuilt it into one of the most spectacular cities of its day. So the folklore and all of its literature was filled with references to death and resurrection. That we are the city who once was dead and have now come to life. And it's that theme that Jesus Christ picks up on when he writes his letter to early Christians suffering in this city.